I was so excited in my 600 square foot apartment that I had to leave and walk around the block while I was on the phone with Rob. I mean, I, we've read Supreme Court cases, but you rarely actually get to see how those cases are presented. He is very easy to listen to. It's like you're sitting around a campfire and he's just kind of talking through this story. The advocacy program that built the foundation for Rick, it's the same style of training that we are doing right now. One of the most important things I've learned about advocacy is how to take criticism and how to use it. A lot of the times, like our coaches and the judges and stuff that we hear, they're truly telling us stuff that they've learned over years of experience. And so being able to learn to take what they say and incorporate it into your own actions is really just something that I think will benefit me for the rest of my life. You really do get a thick skin being in advocacy. And I know he will give me honest feedback. And, and it's not meant to hurt my feelings or or, or do anything but build me up to produce the best product that I can. He is one of my favorite people to collaborate with. When you're both here at midnight, you know, you're, you're all, you're, your shield's down, you're just being your true raw self, you get to see a lot more of those people and um, develop even closer relationships than you would normally. You'll find a place you belong and you're accepted and wanted and valued. This program is very inclusive and Rob has really made it very clear that his goal is to ensure that men and women and people of color have equal opportunity here. So as the most diverse law school in the country, it only makes sense that we are also a diverse set of advocates. I think I'm looking forward to potentially coming back as a coach myself one day. I mean, just the fact that there were people that Last year as a 2L, I was talking to as 3Ls, and now, you know, they're coming back as coaches. I know beyond this program, it's, it's a little bittersweet. We've gotten so close, we know we'll be able to rely on each other beyond here. But it's sad that we're not going to have those, like, midnight, late nights, or text to check on each other and, and remind each other that this is fun, and we're supposed to enjoy it and be grateful for the opportunity that this program and school has given us.